Florida mistress uses sugar daddy's gun and love triangle car shooting with baby inside. That is a lot. That sounds like three episodes of your favorite telenovela jam-packed in the one title, but strangely enough, it sounds about par for the course for Florida. Ah, the Sunshine State. A Daytona Beach love triangle reached a violent climax. Climax is a fascinating choice of words for a love triangle after a 20-year-old woman was arrested for allegedly firing shots into a woman's car with a gun belonging to her sugar daddy while a one-year-old child was in the back seat, according to deputies. Zara Percy, who was believed to be the mistress of the victim's boyfriend, was arrested and charged with shooting into a vehicle, a felony, according to an arrest affidavit from the Volusia Sheriff's Office. That girl is a menace, a true destructive force, because she got the sugar daddy already, but the world is not enough. Now she's packing heat on her way to bird dog somebody else's man, where if you know you need a gun, you know you probably shouldn't be doing that in the first place. The incident happened in front of an apartment complex in Daytona Beach around 9 p.m. on November 4th. The woman who was shot flagged down deputies. I don't think she was shot. Maybe shot at. That could be a typo. Flagged down deputies and told them that while she was on her way to Wendy's with her child, she noticed a car parked in front of their building. According to the arrest affidavit, that car was spotted driving past her home a few times in the days leading up to the incident, and the woman wanted to know why. The woman parked close to the car for about two minutes before she saw her boyfriend and daughter's father walk out of an unknown apartment with an unknown woman. The report said that woman was later identified as Percy. She had to have some sort of feeling, some sort of intuition that her boyfriend was doing something sneaky on the side and that car fit into the equation some type of way, which is great detective work because she was right. Just a horrible outcome. She has a gun, someone shouted. Why does that give me the strange feeling that everyone knew what was going on except for the main chick witnesses said they saw the woman and percy having a verbal argument percy was then seen running to her car opening the trunk grabbing an object and then pointing it down the street toward the direction of the victim according to surveillance footage obtained by deputies she fired a couple of shots directed at the woman's car where her one-year-old child was sitting in the back seat before fleeing the scene with an unnamed person the affidavit said. I think now would be a fine time to ask the question, if this guy was living with his girlfriend, why would he have his side chick skulking around the apartment complex? Even if he didn't have her in their apartment this one time, just having her two or three doors down at a neighbor's crib is not that much better. The woman said she had never seen Percy before. If you're the boyfriend, all you gotta do is be a little bit sloppy, be a little bit late, just one time. The woman and her child were not injured in the incident, deputy he said that's good two shell casings and a live bullet were found directly in front of the apartment building according to the affidavit the gun however was not found at the scene deputies asked percy for consent to search her car to find the gun but she said she returned it to her sugar daddy the gun's location or owner were not made immediately clear in the affidavit hell no you better not bring your sugar daddy's name into this you might need lawyer money